guys, I'm Catherine Fulvio. Welcome to Ballynock and Cookery School. You know, as a child, I always adored Pancake Tuesday and I've passed that on to my own kids and we're always trying to change it up a little bit as we go along. So now we're into chocolate pancakes and you can't get much better than this recipe. So we have here our flour and then we have our baking powder and we have our cocoa powder. I know a lot of you probably just thought I was putting Nutella in, but no, no, we're making the real thing. Homemade chocolate pancakes. Now I have my milk and my water and I have my egg. You could do this the night before and just leave it to stand. That's a little bit of rapeseed oil gone in and give that a nice whisk. So just bring it all together. Make sure the egg is fully broken down. And we're just gonna give our mix here a little stir. Okay, and in goes our wet mix and just start bringing it all together. And now, onto my whisk. Just make sure you have everything beautifully blended. There we go. Now leave that to stand. The flour just needs to expand a little bit as it absorbs the liquid. And then you've got a steadier mixture for working with. So you can just pop that in the fridge and leave it for maybe 20, 30 minutes. And you'd be grateful you did it now, to be honest. But you can easily do it the night before. That's usually what I do. And then the next day I can just start making pancakes. Now it's time to cook. So I'm just going with a tiny little bit of the rapeseed oil in the pan. So you can just put it in and you can swirl it around. Or what you can do is you can get a bit of kitchen paper and you can just rub it around the pan lightly because you don't want your pancakes swimming in oil and then you can use this bit of paper again for the next batch. Then we get our ladle and off we go. And swirl it around. Cooking beautifully, look, you can see with the high heat, it's already drying out. So that water, the liquid is evaporating and it's setting around the edge. And you can see why we only put the tiniest bit of oil, because we had oil already in our mix, just the tiniest bit of oil on the pan, because you can see you've already got the drops of oil just sitting on the top there. Now I'm serving these with berries and natural yogurt and icing sugar. You can serve them with whatever you want. Remember, we want to be a little bit healthier. We wanted our pancakes, so we're adding our berries in with our yogurt. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with putting orange and classic sugar on here and serving with butter. My kids go for the lemon and the sugar, which is just gorgeous. But with the berries like this, I think orange would be really nice. And orange would work well with the chocolate as well. And up she goes and we turn. And we let it cook on this side. So there's one done. Now we can wipe our pan again with our oil on the cloth. And then off we go again, another little batch spreading it nicely round. So while that one's cooking, I'm gonna start assembling one. So to assemble, what you can do is, you can start, let's turn this over this way. It's paler on this side, because that was the first side in on the heat. And what you can do is you can get your yogurt, like this, and you can spoon your yogurt on like that. And if you wanted to, you could go with a little bit of icing sugar at this point, just over the yogurt, just for a little bit of sweetness for yourself. There you go, and then, you're gonna go with a selection of berries. Putting them on like this, like this. See where this is going? And then you fold it like that, so you can still see your berries. And then you can make a little gap in the center like this and fold again. And there is one done. Let's get another one done for you. So, here we go. We have our yogurt. And we put a bit of icing sugar, it's personal taste, a bit of icing sugar on. And then we have our lovely fruit here. So we just pop that on. And then we folded it over like this. And then we just made sure we had a little dent in the side like that. And we folded it again. And there we have it. And then if you'd like, you can go on top again with a nice bit of icing sugar. Like this. And you can just prepare your strawberry, cut your strawberry in half, and then just slice into it like that. Make a little fan of your strawberry, like this. There we have it. There's the fan club. And another fan club. Chocolate berry pancakes. Happy Pancake Tuesday. <laughs>